Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my first Super Nintendo Let's Play and it's Hogany. This game is brutally hard and yeah it's it's a nightmare but it's so responsive it's incredibly beautiful to watch like graphically the soundtrack's really good and I, I love playing it it's just hard and I don't get very far usually. I have only ever been up to stage 1-3 so like the whole entire game is blind for me. I'll get to see. Uh, we have a variety of different weapons some really cool. They all have their functions and they, they all work. The red like fire that we see gives us health. Blue fire gives us an extra health point and the arrows and bombs replenish our ammo. I am doing very badly. I'm usually not this bad. But the game is quite difficult even though it's responsive as hell. It's the most responsive game I've ever played and every button on the control does something. Um, I'll show you some special moves in a bit. We have uh, also, we can also grab some specials and one-ups. Um, the enemies can drop absolutely anything, so every time you play from the beginning, it's kind of different. Because you could have many lives found, few lives found, loads of specials, no specials, uh, extra life points like HP points or none, which is more often the case. Uh, that's a front flip. Like uh, if you press the trigger buttons, you front flip, and if you press the attack button while doing it, you can do different levels of attack. You can charge the flip up to three times, so you do a front flip, and you can do that. Uh, or you can also attack in the air other ways as well, like a flying kick or something. That is our special. And yeah, this is uh, the mini boss, I think. See how I do. I shouldn't die here. Oh no, this is actually the f stage one. One. Ah. Yeah, this is like stage one, one boss. Okay, so we'll get back up there. I am playing not so well. But we'll get this part done. I won't stop until I finish the. Uh, entire first stage so I hope that's a 1-4 but I don't know never done it okay so I've not recorded my emulator of the stairs before that's a blue fire that will increase our HP to 4 you can have a max of 5 I've never like recorded my Z stairs before so I don't know how this is going to turn out hopefully it come, turns out fine um, yeah, this is a really fun game, and you should totally play it, but prepare to die a lot. But it's, it's hard. And extremely fun. And, yeah, I'm not going to cut out any of the deaths, because I'm going to die a lot. And, you get seven continues I think. When I get to the continue screen I will cut at that point all the way back up just because I want you to see how easy it is to die. It's very easy to take a hit and only having four hit points or 
at the majority of the time, three is very easy to die with. Um, there's a red fire, that will give us some HP. But this, these mini bosses um, are usually pretty simple. It's normally just surviving the level that's quite difficult. Okay, so this is uh, stage one, two, and yeah, we're going to use the bombs. They're a fantastic weapon. It's the first arcing motion weapon I've ever seen that's useful because it explodes and has a sort of like area of effect. So even if it goes over them, it can still hit them with its uh, explosion, which is really handy. And especially when they're up in the air like that, that's an extra special. We're up to three now. This is like some of the best luck I've had on drops ever. I've had some one ups and stuff. Okay, swap and jump. I usually get hit by this thing. Yeah, there we go. So, yeah, this game watching looks a lot easier than it is. But trust me, it's quite a difficult game. Do not let the simplicity of it fool you. It's, I say simplicity, it's actually quite adept with the amount of weapons and, well, graphic and music is really pretty. That's um, what you can do with the lightning thing. It's pretty weak, but it allows you to grab onto the ceiling. You can, so you can jump, use that to get to a ceiling you can't normally reach. and you can bounce off walls by doing your spinning jump which is really cool okay so this is uh, the one two mini boss is actually really simple but I've only got one HP and I'm probably going to yeah I walked into it I'm a moron So when you die, you retain your amount of specials you've collected, but you lose the blue fires you've collected, so I'm back down to three hit points, which is not a good thing. Um, <laughs> it's quite unforgiving with that, really. So yeah, this is the electric thing, it allows you to reach ceilings you wouldn't otherwise reach. And that can come in handy with certain enemies later on ones that are pretty much out of reach from everything and the I shouldn't actually be getting hit on this mini boss here, it's pretty simple but yeah this game is a lot harder than it looks I recommend playing it to absolutely everyone uh, there's something else I was going to mention uh, yeah these parts are probably going to be quite long because I can see them take me quite some time to complete a level. I will most likely use all seven continues trying to get past the first actual boss, considering I've never seen him. Okay, so this guy, he jumps, he lands and he swings out his arm, you just move out the way and move back in. You can even jump, uh, do your spinny jump, so you move to the other side of him and hit him from behind when he's attacking to get extra hits but he'll die now yeah so yeah the bosses in this game are really weak but getting to them can be quite difficult especially this part it has a platforming part which I I have to say is made very poorly it's difficult for the wrong reasons when we get there you'll see these things just respawn these big things and there's a platforming part up above which is really awkward it's not done well in my opinion uh, so every time you fall down from them which is a lot you will be hit and what I'm about to fail to now a lot is th these three platforms here they're very hard to land on very very hard 
and I will fall, I will slip, and then I will get hit, and I will die. Uh, I get quite frustrated when playing this game at that exact part. Just here, this is the only part that annoys me because it's platforms and they shouldn't be difficult and they're not exactly difficult. You jump on them or, I mean, there's three platforms, it's not a difficult system to master, but yet I have a very hard time landing on the third one. So I get quite frustrated because it's three platforms, there's nothing special. Because the when you jump, the camera comes up, so you can't see below you, really. Ah, I should have spent. So you can't see below you, so you can't really see where you're landing. And normally that's not an issue, but here it is. Okay, moving on. Let's try that again. Okay, so we're back here, and we'll jump, this one will come over, we'll land on that one. Okay, and I didn't mean to do that, so now I can't see the platform coming. I should really sort of weapon. Try this weapon. Ah, it's still on the sword. The sword is a classic. But yeah, I like the variety in this game. And everything else I've encountered except for these platforms. It's hard to explain. It's just so responsive. When you press a button, it happens. So there's none of this, like, uh, blaming the controller. It's very responsive. In fact, it's possibly the most responsive game I've ever played. And graphically, it's just a delight. If you like 16 bit games, you will like this. And dying to platforms again. We're going to die there a lot, I think. We're very close to a continue. But it's also on time. So, like, you kind of have to have a little bit of haste when doing these levels. They're quite short, but there's one level split into four parts with three mini bosses. Or it might even be uh, six parts. I hope it's only four. Because I've only seen up to here. We have four specials though, which is pretty good. Not really sure what to use those on. I'll have to wait and see what the mini-boss for this one's like. Oh, yeah, we made it across. There we go. Okay, I've never been across here. I can see that guy's legs. Okay. Let's get up there. Alright, what do we have here? Okay, we have another one of those. And... See one of those fire guys from the early... Yeah, he is. Kill you. More bombs. And I like the fact that you pick up one bomb and you get quite a bit of ammo from it. I think you get like six or something. Which is pretty cool. And. Can we get up there? I'm sure we can. I keep letting go of the button. Because I am not very bright. Oh! Hello. That's an extra HP point. We want that. And we can stand on top of this one, which is really cool. And throw bombs at that one. Can we throw bombs on this one? I think if we get close enough to the ceiling, the explosion hurts him. Or we can just do this downward attack. The kunai are really good, and they remind me a lot of playing Shinobi, but a lot faster paced. And 
being able to swap between weapons is something that I'd really like in Shinobi. Actually, I think you could actually choose between that. Oh, you can in Shinobi 3DS, which is really good, and you should totally play that as well. Uh, you can choose between the sword or the kunai. But I digress. So, okay, so this is stage one four. There was no mini boss. I've not been here. This is pretty crazy. Okay. Um, well, okay. This is quite hectic. I don't know what's going on. Just gonna keep jumping because the floor keeps falling. Got fire behind me. Um, oh, okay. Hold there. Okay, let's do that again. I hope this isn't very long because this is seemingly seems quite difficult. Okay, and that's the same hole, isn't it? Okay. This is our last life, and then we're gonna use a continue. And I will cut my way back up here so you don't have to see me failing so much. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna cut my way back up. And I will see you soon. Okay, so we're back, and it's actually the day after I recorded the first half because uh, I had trouble getting back. So I started over from the beginning. So I had all my continues that way. Right, okay, let's do this. Jump. Let's stay to these, like, uh, I'm gonna call them like dragon head wire things. So it's not like the platform. It seems the middle part that blows up. So if we just jump in between it. We're okay. Okay, jump, jump. Da! Okay, not jump on that one. Seems like it blows up once on the platform after going down. And then I can get ready for a proper jump. Okay. So jump. Now land and jump. And jump. And jump again. And there we go. Now we can just run and jump. Okay. Okay. So going up, jump on these things. A little in the uh. Okay. Bounce off that. Ah. Almost forgot to jump. And bounce off. Okay. I can bounce off the fire without taking any damage. That's okay. That's good for the long jumps. I'm getting pretty lucky. And okay, um, Mush B maybe? Oh no, Mush Kabuto. I think that said it wasn't a B, it was an A. Okay, so this is the first boss. I've never seen this guy, and it's pretty creepy. Graphically astounding for 16-bit. Also 1994, this game was released. So pretty much the end of the 16-bit era. Oh, okay. Well, hand on the other side as well. Okay, he fires little fireballs. I'm gonna dodge those. Okay, that hand's coming again. And the fireballs. And a flamethrower. Did not see that coming. I'm gonna die a lot, aren't I? Okay, so let's do this guy again. Jump attack. I think the sword is the strongest weapon. Ah, hit by the other hand. I'm pretty sure it's the strongest, but it has the least range, obviously, and that's his downfall. Okay, I have a special that I can use, which I should have used there to avoid. Ah, so much flame for a. Okay. More flamethrower and more. Okay, these little purple orb things, I can use it to destroy those. So I don't need to worry about them. Okay, here comes the hand. Ah, that was a terrible place to land. Okay, one more time. I'm gonna get him this time. And 
I am focusing, so not talking too much. Dodging. He's a lot easier than the levels are. Once you... Ah, okay. Wasn't expecting to come all the way. Once you learn his system, he's really easy. He pretty much only needs to see it once. Okay, he's got to be close to death, I think. Okay, incoming hand. Bounce off the wall. There we go. Dodging everything. And hand coming. Bounce. And there we go. I didn't even use my special. So that is the end of the sta first stage, I guess. Yeah. Fortress of Doom. Interesting. As if the first stage, is, stage wasn't hard enough. Okay, so I'll be ending it here. Although it looks like there's a little bit of a cutscene. So yeah, I'm going to cut it here.